Hi everyone, I wanted to give you a look into the Chromebook Infused Classroom online course so that you could hear from me what you can expect out of this course, which will reopen September 15th for one week only. So I wanna make sure that you feel confident in what this has. So what we do first is we give the why. Why are you being given Chromebooks and why is it important? So we look at the equity issue, we look at our Gen Z learners, we look at what's coming with 5G learning, and we give you the background that you need to understand the importance of this change in information in your classroom. And then we go into the Quick Look series, which helps us understand 4C, SAMR, depth of knowledge, and ISTE so that the teachers have the foundational understanding of those change structures that people are talking about when they're talking about things like ISTE standards. Then we look at the learning framework. And so we're gonna take this learning framework right here and we're gonna apply it to four apps. And these four apps should be used in every Chromebook infused classroom from K to 12. And these are Flipgrid, Book Creator, Adobe Spark, and Seesaw. So we're going to give you some insight into those and so that you can get started right away with some powerful learning tools. Then we're going to look at digital literacy and digital fluency, really looking at kids have these machines now. How can they do a well-executed Google search? How can they validate information? And so that we're teaching them those skills they need to combat things like fake news. We're gonna look at assessments on a Chromebook, really get into the idea of for, of, and as assessment, what digital check-ins can look like, and how it is you can make thinking visible on a Chromebook. We're gonna look at going from analog to digital in writing, reading, and math. So you used to do it analog, you gotta do it digitally now. Here are some ideas on how to get started doing that with powerful, powerful tools. Then we're going to look at HyperDocs. I truly believe any Chromebook infused classroom must use HyperDocs in order to really up instruction and learning in that classroom. So we dive in with Lisa Highfill and you're, you leave understanding what they are and how you're going to use them in their classroom. Then for the savvy teacher who's ready to go deeper, when they're ready, we're going to look at inquiry. And what does inquiry look like in the classroom? How do you get started? How do you up your inquiry game? And there's gonna be a lot of resources for activating that curiosity in students. Then we go into geo tools for critical thinking. While geo tools like Google Earth are cool for geography, they are so much more. So we showcase all of that. This, I have to tell you, one of my favorite, favorite modules. We're gonna go into Google Classroom. We look at it, how to get started. It's an introduction for the newbies. And then tips and tricks of powerful infusions with Google uh, Classroom from two teachers out of New York, two wonderful teachers there. Really look at how Google Classroom is that tool for workflow, but not really our powerful integration that we look at throughout the course with things like HyperDoc and Inquiry. Then we don't want to leave out the primary teacher, so we brought in the Merrills to look at things like Flipgrid, Nearpod, Buncee, Seesaw, all kinds of great things that the primary teacher can use along with HyperDocs and Inquiry, but this one is focused on primary, although some of these could really be used middle school and high school as well. Then part nine, we're gonna look at add-ons and extensions, really important. And then we're gonna redefine note-taking on a Chromebook. So instead of the linear notes that we're often having kids do, for those kids with touchscreen Chromebooks, we're going into sketch noting, and we brought in Sylvia Duckworth to help with that. Then we have a quick look series um, with Casey Bell around Google certifications and the Innovator Academy for those people who want to take it to the next level. And then some stories for coaches and tech uh, departments about how other people rolled them out and how they did it effectively and what made it catch on and what made teachers be able to use these devices well. And then I just end with some updates from ISTE uh, this summer, and that is the course. The course can be done at your own time, in your own way. You don't have to do every module if you're a primary teacher and that's all you wanna do. You can if you just need to jump into Inquiry with Trevor and a couple other things, that's fine. This is about teacher first and teacher taking ownership of their learning, but I wanted to stack it full with the best ideas in technology integration out there. So this is the course, it reopens September 15th to through the 22nd, and I hope to see you in there.